What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay! So, before we continue, I would like to say a little, uh, a little thing about the last episode. It was actually freaking awesome. We got to dog stomp the crap out of Hop. Like, literally humiliate him out of the whole building. We destroyed him. We took his soul to the Shadow Realm. That's right, guys. In the last episode, we went through the first two battles of the Pokemon League. And, of course, we got to battle Hop. You know, that guy. Just took his soul to the Shadow Realm. Yeah. He will never, ever, ever be the same again. Yeah, I'm a bad sport, but guess what? I really don't like the guy, so it was it, it was a given. So now, in this episode right here, we're going to have to look for Hop's brother, Leon, the actual challenge. And uh, apparently, he has something to do. And... Once you step outside the hotel, you're going to be seeing Piers right here, the gym leader of, I uh, can't remember what the name of the gym was, uh, yeah, Piers, he's a gym leader and all that stuff, so, if you talk to him, he's going to be like this. Oh, well, his sister's coming by, and she's like, man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from the battle with, uh, Dr with you, Draven. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on, Draven. Let's help out together. Well, look at this guy right here. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Who the... Oh, well, hello there. Miss Oleanda. You say miss? Miss Oleanda. Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means, as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. Hmm. I have a hand selected, uh, or I have hand selected a member of a league staff to give him the, a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kinds of menial games after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal league staff uh, and, uh, or normal league staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? Oh wow. So, okay. Okay, so what the hell's going on right here? What should we do? Tisk. This isn't good, but I got this one. Draven, Team Yell's yelling will handle this. Oh, wow. Oh, that. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around in front of the stadium. Okay, Hop, you go away because you kind of suck right now. So, here we have Piers, and he's going to be like, for now, we should try and head to the plaza together, right? Yeah. Sure, let's go right ahead and, and, and find this guy right here because apparently they all look the same, I guess. All right, let's work together and head for the Rose Tower. Hmm. Let's see. The Rose Tower. So here we are in Rose Tower, the Corvin Knights right here. And of course, Pierce is going to be like, let's find only a staff member. The bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? Mm, yeah, he was. Now... He was wearing black shades. Now, these guys are pretty much the same guys right here. So what we need to do is we actually need to find this guy right here. And I think Team Yell will actually help us out. And, well, not right there. Where in the mother lover are you? Not right there. But if you talk to this guy right here. So there is a good league staff member and there is a bad league staff member. And the only difference is the bad one is wearing sunglasses. Why even bother with the different look then? Maybe, maybe, just maybe because, I don't know. Black is kind of evil somehow. And this guy right here, if you go to this guy, he's like, Hey, Driven, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so that he'll have no choice but to look this way. All right. You're short and you suck. Hey, Driven, this bloke's awfully shifty. Okay, I already, I already said this before, but let's see. Uh, how about this? Miss Alien is here, or we already have the key, you know. Right here. Turns around, and he's like, what? Bless it, I turned around, and I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Okay, so here we go, guys, another Pokemon battle. We're going up against Macrocosmos Eric. And, of course, he is going to be coming out with his, uh, his Meowth right here. Oh, God. Oh, God, so... He, he's a man of steel tap Pokemon right here, so it's very easy to defeat him. Just use ground types, you know. 
fire types, that kind of stuff, just to beat these guys in. Well, as you can see, Meowth had no chance. Oh, yes. And, well, you got to love the experience points. Now, in our last episode, we used two different kinds of teams right here. And, well, it, it that might be the case later on when we go ahead and take on, um, well, another, another few challengers in the Pokemon League. Remember, you still got, I think, one more round to go. Or two more rounds to go, and then after that, you take on the champion. So as you can see, we are getting uh, cheered on by Team uh, Team Yell right here. So it's like we got to go in. So thanks for the help. And look at that, my Pokemon speed has has uh, well has risen sharply. So let's go ahead and burn this Durant down. So here it is, burn up for the win. Look at that, Durant had no chance whatsoever. Quadruple damage. Say goodbye to Durant, and well, of course, more points. And we defeated Macro Cosmos Eric. Don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. Yeah, well, he turned around and all that stuff. So he's like this. All I need to do is hide. I won't have to give you the key. And well, that's exactly what he does. So now we're gonna have to actually look for him again. It's wonder how fast that guy could run. I've got, I got no idea where he went, Gov. Well, I have a good idea where he went. So, Macrocosmos Eric is actually, you know, he's around this vicinity right here. You don't have to go very, very far. You just have to look for him for two more places right here. Now, as you can see, that guy doesn't have shades. But if you go right here, bam, you find him yet again. How'd you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? Bah, whatever. I'll defeat you this time. And, well... Here we go again in another Pokemon battle against Macro Cosmos Eric, and this time he is coming out with a new set of Pokemon. And again, he is a Steel type gym leader, or no, not a Steel type gym leader, a Steel type trainer. So just make sure to have those Ground types ready, those Fire types, hell, Water types for the Ground type Pokemon right there. Yeah, he, he does have a good combination of Pokemon right here. So. There we go again, and defeating another Pokemon right there, and he's going to be coming out with an Excadrill. So, let's go right ahead and go with Michelangelo. We're ready to kick some more butt right here. Alrighty. Michelangelo, go. And, well, here comes Excadrill looking like a lot of knives on him. And, feel that flow? Yeah, you feeling it, Draven? Yeah! And look at this, we're getting an increase in our defense and special defense, so Excadrill's gonna, he's gonna feel it later on in the morning right here. So here we go with the liquidation attack. Liquidation finishes off Excadrill. What now? Say goodbye to Excadrill. And look at this, we're getting an increase in a lot of points right there, and Macros Cosmos Eric has been defeated yet again. Yeah, buddy. Okay, give us the key, homie. They say hide a hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. Okay, so now we're going to have to look for him one more time. And of course, he went this way, so let's see where we can actually find him. And would you look at that? He hides himself in here inside the booth. And he's like, You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. So here it is, guys. The final battle against Macro Cosmos Eric. And like always, he does have two new Pokemon to his team. This time, he's going to start out with Ferrisseed. So, he is, a, he is quite uh, vulnerable to Fire-type Pokemon right here. But guess what? Fighting-type Pokemon are good too. Now, just be aware that he does have a, a, a little bit of an effect that takes your HP away. His Iron Barbs right there. And, well, look at that. He faints. Say goodbye. Okay, alrighty, so now the next Pokemon he's going to come out with is Steelix, so let's go right ahead and use Quackor the Foul to make him pay just a little bit. Alrighty, so here we go, Quackor the Foul ready to go, and he's coming out with a Steelix. Now, I did defeat a Steelix off screen with this move, and yeah, have, have plenty of my support, you know you can be uh, keep on going. You're the best, Marnie, you're the best girlfriend ever. And, well, look at that. Attack and special attack has grown, so guess what? Meteor Assault Attack. Ready to finish this guy off, and look at this. Oh, yeah. Man, 
That is like one of the greatest moves ever, especially for for the surfish right there. Look at that, and well, no chance whatsoever. Macro Cosmos Eric has been defeated, and he's like, hiding didn't work, and battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run. Well, you could run, but I'll still find him. I will find you. Seems like you've got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. An earful from Miss Eliana is worse than uh, anything you can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Oh, well, he's going to be running towards the monorail right here. And Pierce is going to be like, Team Meow, go find Hop. We'll corner the league staff member at the uh, station together. And bam. There they go. And so now it is time for us to actually go straight to the monorail right here. And, well, let's see what we can actually find. Here is the monorail. And, oh, God, he does have... There are four... Four trainers in general right here. Holy crud. Okay, so he is not making it easy for any of us. Any one of us, I should say. And, well... <sighs> well, I guess it's time to go to work right here. You did a cracking job of cornering the bad league, uh, league staff member, Draven. Let me sing you a song fitting for fitting of your rocket deeds. The only thing, uh, oh wait, wait, he's actually singing. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. The hell? What's going on? Maybe I can cheer for someone on the just with the tunes I play. Maybe my son, or maybe my songs don't make me anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing, sing my humble song. Pierce, go Pierce! Oh crud! Hey, is it that Pierce? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if he can get closer. Everybody's getting their attention. Everybody's getting their phones out. Holy crud, something is going on right here. Holy crud, okay. And look at this. The zigzag goons are just starting to dance right here. Looking like Kiss Country. And what in the mother of God? Oh God, look at that. We got the keys. Uh, we got the key, Piers. We can do, uh, take the monorail to Rose Tower now. Huh? He does, and wow, he is. Uh, but where's the music? Draven, hop. Now's your chance. Go, get out of here. Okay. And there it is. We are making our way to the monorail, and uh, would you look at that? Holy crap! That is uh, that 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 that's a tower. It's a big ass tower. That is a huge tower. Oh, great. Good gravy. Good gravy. Okay, so. <laughs> so, this is a rose tower. Just how tall you think it is. I can't even see the top up, up there in the clouds. Well, let's see. So, what should we do? Team Yell is going to have their hands full holding up uh, those uh, bad league staff members. They wouldn't uh, be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Draven, what should we do? Let's go ahead. We don't need to wait for anybody right here. Good thinking. Let's collect, or let's go collect Lee and get the heck out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Draven, you cleared the way uh, Rose Tower. Now all you got to do is charge on ahead. Oh damn! An employee's an employee, I guess. Seems the exec lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion hold up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Gene Simmons has come back. Times like this, when tension and passion run high, remind me of Spike Month in the old days. Some right wild concert we had back then. But no, no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get it going. I'll send some support your way and yell. Gotta stick around and make sure that my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything, no matter what. Okay, well, whatever you want, baby. Let's go, Draven. Okay, so let's go right ahead and see what's going on right here into uh, the tower. Now, this is going to be a big, big one right here, guys. Um, so, let's see. What can I say? 
Yeah, we're gonna be going into this tower. I thought I was gonna take into. I thought I was gonna be in the next episode, but no, we're gonna be going right here. We're gonna be going into this tower, and we're gonna be t defeating everybody. As you can see, here's a rose tower, and there's a bunch of roses right here. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Uh, roses. Every rose has its thorn, right? Just like the song. Listen, Draven. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of a space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Hmm. You don't say. You can, huh? Which is well, which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us up to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! All staff are ordered to remove the intruders from the premises at once. See? If Miss Oleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. Okay, alrighty. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. So, here it is. We're gonna be battling another guy, Macro Cosmos Elijah. And, well... A lot of these guys like to use Steel Tap Pokemon, so this shouldn't be hard, right? This shouldn't be hard. Okay, so here we go. Take it on a Durant right here. And, well, we do not have the right moves for this guy because it is also a Bug Type Pokemon, but it never hurts to try. Look at that. Bulldoze does its thing, and its speed, its speed has fallen, but, yeah. It's going to be using Agility to sharply raise its speed yet again, so... Technically, it went up one level, but guess what? Here we go again, another bulldoze, and, well, it is faster than us right now, so Iron Head gets us, and, of course, we flinch. So let's go straight for the body, uh, body press right here, and... Wow, this guy is going to be all strategic. He wants to be all strategic, so let's go with body press attack right here. Elbow drop for the win. Say goodbye to Durant. Oh, yeah. You know, it's actually very nice to actually see some, like, Steel-type Pokemon right here. You know, they, they, they're hardly used in all that crud. So, here we defeated another guy. Having to give up my pocket money, losing means I'm back in the red. Okay, so the music still keeps on going right here. My, my bonus! My dream of finally affording a house of my own! We need to speak to Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is! Well... Get on a lift. The Chairman's at the top of the building. All right, we're nearly to Chairman Rose. I do like the music, though. Hold on, Lee. We're coming! Come on, Draven. Let's crack on. All right, so here we go into the next room right here. And this is pretty awesome. This is like a Final Fantasy kind of mission and stuff. I don't know. It's something. And wow, the... This is pretty awesome right here, guys. This is very awesome. This is taking ages. All right, so here we are into the next floor right here. What? I I don't think we're on the roof yet. Why have we stopped? And, well, this is the reason because, uh, yeah. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Galar League's gym challenge. Yet, I'm afraid it doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower. Able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. Well, you don't say. So here it is, guys. Another battle, and this is actually double battle number one right here. We got actually, like, we actually have three, so... Here we have uh, Jane and, uh, what's his name? Coming out with a Kufant and uh, that guy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Bronzong. Okay, so... Of course, we, we're going to have to tag with Hop because, yeah, it, it's the proper thing to do. He doesn't have the right Pokemon for this job, so let's go right ahead and use this. I don't care about Hop, so we're gonna we're gonna actually just like you know destroy his Pokemon as well. So there we go. Qfont has been defeated. Of course, double its speed has fallen. Qfont defeated right there. Okay, and then you gotta love the experience points that we're getting. And here comes a body slam from double. Do not know why you did that, since it is a Steel Tap Pokemon, but here comes a Safeguard. And, well, that right there is not going to do much, since it doesn't have a teammate. So let's go with this right here, Body Press. Going to get it, but not super effectively, since it is a Psychic-type Pokemon right here. So here comes a Body Slam 
And that nearly takes Bronzong. And, well, Bronzong, of course, using extra sensory, going to finish up, well, almost finish up double. So let's go ahead and use drum beating to finish this guy off right here. So Super Saiyan 3, Optimus Prime, for the win, say goodbye to Bronzong. Of course, I'm doing all the, all the work right here because, of course, this guy can't do anything. So, there we go. We have defeated the first crew of this whole Macro Cosmos team. And now, we're going to have to actually go back. Like, we're going to have to go up, 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 the, up the next few floors right there. So, not going to read this. And, well, let's see. There's more danger to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're not going to read that. But, of course, it's going to take us a little bit more further up. And, well, Hop is like, wait. So the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already! Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them up for us. Well, if there's only one good thing that... One good quality that Hop has is that he is very good with healing Pokemon. And, of course, he wants to talk to us because, you know... I think he does want to talk. I don't even know. Okay, so here we go with another crew, and Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. I'm the MC Insurance. Do you have any life insurance policy? No, we don't. But in real life, I do. I actually have an, uh, health insurance. That's why, you know, you know, when I broke my ankle, that that was uh, covered in all that stuff. So here we go, taking on uh, the Cosmos, is Mawile, Ma and uh, that other Pokemon right there, Clang, Clean, Clean, Clang, Clean, 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 Clang. I can't, re I really don't remember the name. But here we go, Mawile, decreasing our attacks just because of its Intimidate. And well, let's go right ahead and use a Bulldoze to just destroy everybody and Clang does not have levitate so that right there will actually take a lot of HP from Clang and it will lower its speed so Mawile defeated oh yeah more experience points hey hello to level 82 there for Optimus Prime and here comes a body slam for double and wow it's about damn time it's about damn time that you know Hop did something so we get more experience points, and we defeat these two guys right here. He's like, nobody can be MC and serious when it comes to the dedication of our work. The building, well, this building's well over 500 feet tall. That's a tall. That's as tall as around 100 machokes standing on top of each other. Well, thank you for the educate, uh, the the education and all that stuff. But really, don't need to. Uh, I really don't need to know the, all that stuff. Just give us, give us the homeboy. I don't know. Okay, so we're healed up yet again, and we are going to be going straight to the next level right here. And would you look at that. We're still not up to the top right here, but here comes the next crew. And they're like, you're nearly to the top, but you'll not, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work in high sky or high in the sky is doing my job for the lofty macro cosmos air. Okay, alrighty. Macro, Cosmos, Air, and all that stuff. They, they cover everything, I think. Okay, so as always, they're going to have Steel-type Pokemon right here. Here we have both a Steelix and a Stunfisk. A Larian stunf Stunfisk, I should say. So, let's take care of business right now. Again, Bulldoze Attack for the win. Do not care about Hop Pokemon, so we're going to finish them all off. Of course, they do have high defenses. And, well, everybody's speed's gone down just a tad bit because of this. And here comes a Body Slam for double. Doesn't do anything because, of course, Steelix is a very, very defensive Pokemon. And, wow. So, here comes a Bounce Attack. That's not going to be good. And, of course, Slam Attack will almost finish off double. So, let's go right ahead and use a Body Press. Let's finish off Steelix. Here we go, body press for the win. And there we go, Steelix, no more. I'm only hoping that that hop or that that the bounce attack will hit this uh, double. And well, reversal misses, and here comes the bounce attack. And well, we have avoided that that attack. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off with a body press attack. Of course, there it is. Stunkfish defeated. 
Okay, alrighty, look at that! So we're getting more points, we defeated the last of the three, and well, hopefully it gets us to the top, but I don't know. Knowing the Pokemon world, it might not be that that simple. Don't you, preserve, uh, don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not at the same level as such a great man. You must know that in a high rises such as this one, the higher you go up, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is up to the top, uh, the top of the top, not just at the tower, but of all Galar. Hmm, that is kind of true. And well, we get healed up. Looks as t uh, looks as though that we're nearly there, mate. Looks sharp. Let's do this. Okay, alrighty. And look at that. It looks like to us that we are finally reaching the top. And wow, what a what a sight. And right there waiting for us is uh yes my other girlfriend miss olian or olina i don't even know how to pronounce her name but i don't care she looks fine she's gonna look even finer when she's mean so here we go oliana or olina or oliana welcome to the chairman's rose executive pl uh, exclusive place or space here nearly a thousand feet above the earth so you got through the, all the special stuff that i ordered to stop you I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by the trainer Leon himself. But I am afraid it's time for you to go home. Because... Oh, damn! I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. Told you she looks hot when she's mean. <laughs> you shall be first, Draven. Whatever you say, baby. That right there is kind of like uh, scaring me and turning me on in a little bit. I don't know. Look at that. <laughs> if I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Oh, damn. Okay, so here it is, guys. We are taking on Macrocosmos Olina. And she's looking mean and sexy as usual. So she's going to be coming out with her Frost Slash right here. This is going to be an interesting one because, yeah, she does have a nice, diverse team. So here we go, powering up our communicator. Super Saiyan 3, Optimus Prime, ready to go. Let's go for a drum beating. Remember, Frostlash is a ghost-type Pokemon, so that is something you need to keep an eye out for. But look at this. We defeat it with a grass-type move. So there it goes, and she's looking mean. My, how cocky or how cheeky. How oh, cheeky. Yes, we are very cheeky. What does cheeky mean, guys? So here she's going to be coming out with a Salazzle. That is going to be bad for us. So let's go straight for Michelangelo. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, use the power of the Ninja Turtle right here. Michelangelo, ready to go. And here comes Salazzle. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, use this high horsepower quadruple damage this Pokemon right here so there it is quadruple damage for the win and say goodbye to Salazzle oh yes oh yes and I'm definitely loving the experience points that we're getting here she's about to come out with Serena so let's go ahead and switch it out let's go with Baconator let's give everybody a little bit of a you know let's give them a little bit of a, a taste of a battle right here you know of the girlfriend waiting for us She's looking fine, battling and looking mean and everything. So here's Serena. Let's go right ahead and use Lunge. Oh, crap. Wait, either, wait, either move works. My whole arsenal is just, you know, it will work. And, well, of course, Serena using Acrobatics. That will actually take a nice amount. So let's go ahead and use that Lunge Attack, the, the move that I wanted to go for. And here we go, Lunge Attack. Bam! Say goodbye to Serena. Oh, yes. Okay, so who's next? Dumbledore grows to level 77. And, well, she's about to come out with a Milotic. That Pokemon, we all know, is a... Yeah, it's, 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 it's a strong, strong, very, very strong Pokemon. Very, very... How should I put it? Uh, well, it does have a, a nice, diverse moveset. Or move pull, so... Definitely a Pokemon you don't want to mess with. So here we go, Overdrive. Let's see if this actually knocks this Pokemon out. And yeah, there it is. Sometimes I think Milotic is 
you know, can pass for a dragon type Pokemon. Wouldn't you guys agree? I would agree. And so here she's going to be coming out with her Garbodor. And well, it's the first time for everything, but here we go. Let's get Dumbledore some action right here. Alrighty. Bring it on, Serena, or not Serena, Olina. Here she is looking mean as always. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously? Olina's got to finish this. Oh man, she's looking mean and sexy as always. So here is Garbodor. And well, let's go ahead and Digivolution and Max Mind Store for the win right here. So here she is. She's going to go with a little bit of a Gigantamax. Max. And wow. Looking mean and sexy as always, man. Ooh. And this Garbodor is... Wow. That is a crazy visual right there for a Pokemon like that. It's basically a trash, uh, trash bag. So here we go, bringing in Dumbledore. Let's get this. First time ever. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to supersize this Pokemon right here. So here we go. Grow. That's right. What's up? Dumbledore Digivolution completed. And it looks like that we're the taller Pokemon right here. And well, oh, here is a move that I, I was good even before I changed my image. The hell? Uh oh, here we go. G Max got Malabalure. And that right there takes a lot. And I did I just realized that yes, my Pokemon is a fairy type Pokemon. We did get poison, so. Hopefully this Max Mindstorm will work, and look at that, one hit, KO, say goodbye to Garbodor. And well, just like that, look at that, look at that, easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Garbodor has fainted, and there we go, no more. And yeah, I know, we're going to piss off our girlfriend, but in the long run she will still love us and all that crud. So. There it is, guys. Victorious once again. Yeah, buddy. We defeated Olina, and yes, we're throwing out that peace sign, and she's like, oh, I wasn't able to win. Olina, you are really you are really a you really are a hopeless woman. No, you're not. You got the love of uh, you look you got the love of a strong man. Me, Draven. You got the love of me. That's all that matters. <laughs> Anywho, ugh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do you wish there is nothing to be done right now? The hell is she talking about? Typical Draven. You and Rillaboom are unstoppable. And, well, that is it. And, well, Alina is like, everything I did, and I did to further the chairman's own goals. And, well, there they are, talking, they're chopping it up. They're talking shop about something. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already. And you still fail to understand what's at stake? You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve the pro a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What's the difference, or what difference is it is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this this madness; it's to carry out the championship match. That's why Gal uh, that's what Galar wants, and what I want. It's what I it's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Gala region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive it will be exhausted a, millenni a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as possible can, or possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years. Fine, look. I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. 
and I gave my word, or I give my word, I'll help you, help you with your plans, just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Hmm. That's kind of odd, and that's a that's a nice cartoon scene right there. And well, of course, Hop is gonna be like Lee. You never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all those Team Yellow oddballs, they helped us out to get here. Hmm. I must apologize to you, Hop. I've made, or, uh, if we made you worry at all, at all, wow. There are times when adults just can't seem to have the honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop and Draven. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll grab dinner tonight, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have said that, man. You shouldn't have said that, because I'm going to make you poor. <laughs> Let's see. If you excuse us, Chairman Rose, and I do hope you'll uh, watch t tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one of the for the history books. Hmm. You could hear his cape right there. That's pretty cool. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We no. I am going to change the course of history. That is very ominous. That is super ominous, right? Or ominous. The next evening. Let's see. Well, here we are. And, well, let's see. Here we have uh, this guy right here. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've got the Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Hmm. Challenger Draven. The finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's th what's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Intellion, I'll be more than happy to give you one. What the? <laughs> Dude, shut up! Just let her do her job, Jesus! No, wait, please. I'm not like one of those other league staff. I'm a good one. If I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Alina can uh, be a little extreme in her desire to assist Chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she is cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you need not to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we, sh we, we trust her then, yeah, Draven? Let's go, I can't wait another minute. Hmm, okay, well... Never mind. Would you like to? Uh, would you like me to show you the way to Winden Stadium? Sure, go ahead. Show me where. Then let's be on our way. All right, let's do this. Shaking my hands, doing my thing properly. That's right. And well, here we are in front of the stadium. And well, we got more challenges ahead, guys. So stay tuned. In the next episode. We got a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot to go through in Pokemon battles and everything else. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.